Hey there, EDU 300. It's Billy. I um, just want to show you a couple um, neat tricks that will help you organize your um, <clears throat> your tabs up here, which will probably make accessing all of your Google apps a lot more efficient and effective. Um, I can say when I first started using the Google Apps Suite, um, there's a lot of things to kind of remember and places to go. So if you pin your tabs, this could make things much easier on you. Let me show you what I've got pinned here. So first of all I have the Google community pinned. Um, I've got my email pinned. I've got my Google Drive pinned. I've got Google Classroom pinned. And finally I got the PLN project here. So what do I mean by pinned? Well let's think of one other thing that we might be using quite a bit this year. Um, I'm thinking about the Genius Hour project, so let's just say I'm going to look for the Genius Hour project, 2017, and here it is, it pops up. Now I've got my tab open. If I come up here and I hover my mouse over and I press Control click on a Mac, and I think it's Command click on a Chromebook, I'll have to play with that a little bit. I Control click it and I press Pin. Look what it does. It organizes my tabs so I can't close them. Um, I've also got YouTube pinned. I've got two of them. For whatever reason, I'll close one of those. And you can easily close them just like I did. You can click on it, control click, opens it, and I can un unpin or duplicate. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> and I can also control click and close it. You can see when you control click, you have many options. So I'm just going to close that one there. Um, we had some people saying that they're having trouble logging in and out of their accounts. Uh, two places you can go. You can come here and you can manage yours. You can press manage people. You can also come to people and press add a person. You can see here, if I, if I scroll to the right, I've got my personal Gmail, Twitter, all my Gmail stuff hooked up, everything that I use on a personal level from my website to my Google Drive. And I scroll over here, and this is my school stuff, 10 marks, my school email, my, my classroom Twitter account, my classroom YouTube. Uh, this is my classroom website with Weebly. Um, here's some work I was doing with a, collaborating with other people at my, at my workplace, and this is my Seesaw. This is my digital portfolio for kids. You kind of get the point here. Um, I've got everything organized so I don't have to log in and out. I'm just doing a three finger swipe and I'm scrolling over. And here's my University of Maine setup. So I'd highly recommend um, go ahead and ahead and pinning your tabs. Now, once you've got them how you want them, if you press on Chrome, preferences up here, look what you can do now. You could set these to open specific set of pages or continue where you left off. I actually want this to be continue where I left off. Um, you can do set pages. I could do use current pages. And see how that just set them all exactly where they're at right now. Press OK. Now next time if I shut down my computer and I log back on, guess what? Everything comes back pinned exactly where it is. Uh, another trick I might recommend to you is, hey, we're in this week's module two, right? So maybe while we're in Module 2, it might make sense for you to find Module 2. Here it is. And also pin Module 2. It's totally up to preference, whatever works for you. Um, I just wanted to make things easier on you for organize your tabs and to have everything you need, Classroom Drive, your email, our community, YouTube if you're going to use it, our project information, all that stuff right here, easy for you to see and access. Alright guys, hopefully that tip helps. Have a good night, bye-bye.